Hey folks, how's it going? I am Josh. I'm Taylor. Tay is back, guys. And we're going to be checking out what, my dear? Uh, the Ricky Gervais Show, Season 2, Episode 5, Insects. Alright guys, please continue to leave your comments below because all our videos are based off your comments. And if you are subscribed, we check out those comments and recommendations first. Mm -hmm. Also guys, we have a Patreon. If you cannot afford to, what do you call it, pay for the Patreon, please continue to like, share, and subscribe and comment below and that helps a ton. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's um check it out, lady. Ready? Mm -hmm. We've been away filming in a sweltering London. We've had a heat wave here in the capital city, haven't we, Carl? It's been hot, all right? Been up to 100 <laughs> degrees, record-breaking temperatures. Yeah. What have you been doing, though? Getting to see the place, having loads of walks, and that I like to have walks. You know, watching what <laughs> like people Like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! When, when he jumps off the couch and starts <laughs> exactly. scratching against the door... <laughs> Suzanne thinks it's time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just good thinking time, though, isn't it? Uh, as well, having a walk. You've got no other clutter going on around you. And right. you just think about a lot of stuff. And, you know, like, like, say, with the weather being hot and stuff, a lot of insects knocking about. Right. So I've just been watching them. <laughs> so, so while we've been filming, you've been watching insects? Yeah, just seeing... Cos everybody knows insects are out there, but no-one's keeping an eye on them. <laughs> Why, <laughs> what are they up to? What are you worried about? Loads of Steve, you wouldn't be laughing like that if you'd, if you'd watch them, cos <laughs> they do some weird stuff and that, yeah. is what I mean. What yeah. sort of stuff? Any examples? Uh, I saw a bee have a heart attack. <laughs> you saw a bee have a heart attack. Yeah. How were you sure it was a heart attack? Because what happened? I'd, I'd been. Did it the... clutch its chest with all six legs? No. I'd were there of... some other little bee paramedics? No, no. I'd, I'd just been out in the park anyway, just looking at you know uh, caterpillars knocking about, uh, <laughs> butterflies and stuff. So I was sort of. So aware. The, when Suzanne goes to work, she goes, Carl, don't you waste the day. I want you to do some constructive stuff. <laughs> but but the thing is, so I'd been in the park and I was aware of the insects that are around us more than, like, most of the time. And I come out of the park, just crossing, like, a, a sort of a busy road and what have you, and I saw this bee to the right of me, sort of in the air, and it was a big one, and I was a bit like, oh, let's watch that. And um, <laughs> it just fell. It fell from the air in front of me, and it was it... on the pavement, and I thought, oh, what's going on here? And I, I looked at it for a bit, and it was really still, gave it a little kick, just to see if there was any movement. Nothing. Stone, sort of... What's the saying? Stone cold dead. <laughs> yeah, stone cold be dead. So, yeah, uh, that, that I was... like the fact that this bee suddenly saw Carl and had a heart attack. Yeah, it'd never seen anything that round before. Yeah. It just thought it, it had approached him because he thought it was a sunflower. My right. God, it's a giant walking orange. Every dream has come true. Oh. <laughs> no, but it just summed up life for me. I thought that, that's that's like us, isn't it? At the end of the day, they have heart attacks, stress. Are you putting it down to stress, do you? Well, it's in London, isn't it? You know, everything has stresses from living here. And they are bald, aren't they? They've got fur all over, but they lose the... And always overweight. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fat, bald bee! <laughs> so what did you, you... It fell to the floor and you, you instantly... You just kicked it, you didn't attempt no, to revive it. No, I waited a second it. and just looked at it to see if there was any, you know, leg movement or wing. And there was nothing, and then when I sort of kicked it, it was sort of hard. It had hardened already. It's just rigor mortis, rigor had, mortis had set in. Did it put you in a bad mood for the day? Because I know things like that can just send you over the edge for the day. Uh, death and that does a bit. Suzanne doesn't like me talking about death. What riveting conversations do you come up with? No, just things like uh, one of our mates has had a baby recently and I just was saying, oh, when that's sort of our age, we'll nearly be dead. Think of that. That's the first thing he says is a new life brought into the world. <laughs> I know! But when he's our age, we'll be dead. Yeah! <laughs> No, Maybe they'll let you do the speech at the christening. Well, yeah, I've been watching loads of stuff. I've been watching ants. You mentioned ants. Uh, I've had a lot of moths in the house. They're sort of sad. I mean, you say it like it was a day. garden party. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but all I'm saying is I look at more about what its life is like. Because if you watch something long enough, is what I'm saying, you can see that it's, it's a bit clueless. It's the same way about ants or, you know, they're hard workers and all that. I watch one, it's going back and forth all the time. They go one way and then they stop and go the other way. They try to look busy in front of the mates. But if you watch one, <laughs> if you watch one long enough, it's back and forward and it's like it's done nothing there. I'm going to carry this twig back and forth until I can knock off it four. There's a lot of that going on. <laughs> is there? Because uh, there's not. There's oh, none no. of that going on. There is. <laughs> no, like I say, the moth. Depressing little sort of thing. <laughs> Why is it depressing? It hasn't got eyes, does it? Look at Goofy. 
You just look at it. I don't, it doesn't know what's going on. I just don't. Th- I think if you haven't got eyes, you shouldn't have wings. <laughs> That's a rule. If you can put that into practice, please. That's a great rule. That's a fantastic rule, isn't it? Yeah. If you haven't got eyes, you should not have wings. I love Rick laughs so much he starts clapping. Yeah. Oh, my God. This was reading something out about an octopus. That's, that's like a killer octopus. Mm-hmm. And it annoyed me that this was knocking about now. Because <laughs> I didn't know. I thought they were quite friendly. <laughs> Whenever you see them in cartoons and that, they're always happy, aren't they? And then suddenly, like, they've, they've sort of brought the whole sort of uh, creature down. Do you know what I mean? No. What do you mean? Well, just, just Please you know, when, when you see them in films, they're, they're running about and that, and everybody likes an octopus. But this one, that's on the... It was, it was your fault, really, because you told me about that frog that's going about killing people. No, I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> so I looked it up on the internet at, like, other creatures and stuff. Dot and com. there's uh, yeah. there's uh, some octopus that's in the sea, yeah. uh, and what it does, y- you don't even have to like threaten it. It just spits in the water, and if that stuff gets on you, does you in. What? Again, I'm, I, mm. so in a way, it's good knowledge <laughs> because, I mean, I don't go in the sea anyway because it's full of stuff like that. But that's just reassured <laughs> me that I'm doing the right thing. If they're knocking about, just gozzing everywhere, <laughs> uh, you don't even have to be near one. You don't even know if it's been spitting and stuff. It can kill you. It just seems unfair. I haven't harmed it. I haven't gone near it. Why is it getting annoyed with me? It doesn't seem right. So that's where a knowledge has, has not helped that octopus out. Because now, when you eat them, I just think, yeah, have another one. Do you know what I mean? Get rid of them. <laughs> Conversation with himself. <laughs> Another conversation with himself. Oh no! Oh shit, Ricky's just... Okay, Carl. I'm just gonna throw an animal at you. Tell me how weird it is. What bits annoy you? How you change it? Okay. A crab. How would I change it? Yeah. Does it annoy you? Do you think it's weird? Um, they are weird. <laughs> but they're at that size where they can get away with it. <laughs> yeah, it suits him. Okay. Um, yeah. would, I, would I change anything? Um, in a way, you know, what you're saying about things not working, he can't walk forwards. So yeah. why hasn't something happened? Why haven't they said, you know what, these arms are too clumsy? We need to have them so they can slot away easier and we can pull them out when we need them instead of <laughs> clumping around with them. Because they do struggle. You see them struggling with their arms. Yeah, they're still here. They're still doing that. They're still designed that way. What's the weirdest animal? So you think the octopus is the weirdest animal on Earth? Yeah. Why is it any weirder than a dog? Because it couldn't be further away from us. A dog has got human eyes. (laughs) (laughs) If if a jelly... Honestly, if a jellyfish had a pair of eyes like ours, I probably wouldn't worry about him that much. But, like I said to you, it's that way that... (laughs) They haven't got eyes. They're floating about. I can handle some fish. They look. They look like because they've got eyes. You can make eye to eye contact with them. <laughs> what are jellyfish. Making? What are you looking at? It's a snidey thing, like I've said to you. <laughs> you can see see a lot in eyes. Do you know what I mean? They say I don't trust him. Why? It's his eyes. Jellyfish haven't even got any, and I don't trust them. In terms of um, design and everything, and uh, if you lined everything up, say if I come from another planet, yeah. and Everything was lined up in a row, and they said, "Right, we're going to give you a crash course in what's knocking about on this planet." Yeah. And you go, "Right, go on then." And you go, "This is man. Here's woman. Here's a dog. Here's a cat. Here's an octopus. Here's a." I go, "Hang on a minute. What is this?" Say <laughs> 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 if if everything was at the same size as us, what would be the best thing to be? Say like a tarantula, yeah, and a tiger. What would happen there? To a, a, a fifteen stone tiger versus a fifteen stone tarantula. Yeah. Well, I'd imagine the fifteen stone tarantula. Right. So it's just weird that, isn't it? It's a good job that they're small. Yet things are getting bigger because we're messing with the world. But it's a ridiculous thing to say, isn't it? Because what would it eat? Fifteen stone. The biggest you'll find is like a foot long. 
beetle or some oh, like that. Big though, isn't it? Yeah, and that's about as big as they get. He's so I wouldn't worry one. about it. Mm. <laughs> Again, mm. based on nothing, he queries it's not, you. But it's like fish, isn't it? How they say about a goldfish. Yeah. That thing about a woman who went on holiday and mm. stuck it in a bath. Mm. She came back, it was seven foot. Right, that didn't happen. <laughs> No, that's a well-known thing about No, it's not a well-known thing. What? I'll tell you why. Because a fish will only grow to its surroundings anyway. So... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to put it in a bigger tank. Yeah, in a bath. No, a seven-foot fish in a bath. It just fit the bath exactly, did it? When she got back off holiday... Don't talk shit. It's what was it eating? <laughs> what was it eating? How long was she gone for? <laughs> Two million years? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she went to Mars and back. Ted, you're not going to believe this. Come up here. How many fish do you see that have naturally died? It's always been caught by a man or a shark's at it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just see dead fish washed up, do you? Well, most things that like don't die of old age. Yeah, that's weird, though, isn't it? Well, no, because it's a... You know, it's a jungle out there. No, worse than the sea. The sea is, like, full of... Uh, you've got an enemy round every rock. <laughs> I love it! I love it! I love it's like a warning to crabs exactly. and young squid. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, it's like the policeman that comes into your school. Yeah, yeah. Carl, have you ever seen the programme Inside the Actors' Studio? Uh, no. James Lipton interviews famous actors and gets world, uh, words of advice about, uh, you know, how they work and how they act. But at the end, he always asks a series of questions which is based on a French series of questions that a guy called Bruno Pivot used to, uh, to give people when he interviewed them. So I'm going to ask you some of these questions. I'm just interested to see what your response is. And, you know, answer them quickly. You don't have to think about them too much. Mm. What is your favourite curse word? Uh, I don't think I've got one. Uh, knobhead. <laughs> that sums everything up. And I think it's... But you, you can... wouldn't call your nan a knobhead, would you? What would you call a nan? Well, knobhead's all right, isn't it? Because she'll, she'll, she sort of gets it. It's one of them things that everybody understands, but it's not too offensive. Right. What a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, though, if you were swimming, right? It was a nice little thing. You're on holiday, right? And there's this octopus there, and you're going around, right? And, it, and you just see it start spitting at you, poison. What yeah, would you say well, to it? Well, it's too late then, isn't it? And I'd kick it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd say, knobhead. <laughs> I would, uh, but what's the point? What's the point in getting annoyed now? Because it's done its, it's done its stuff, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, you're kicking and coming in, not bad. <laughs> Under the water. What is this octopus thinking? Oh God. Oh, I go, you fucking eight-legged shit. I'm you, not bothered. I'm not bothered. You, I don't know what you're you saying. Fucking, fucking cunt no. of a mollusk. <laughs> I'm just staring at you again. Not bothered. You slimy little fucking boneless wanker. This is why the face. Are you still good. talking to the octopus? Thank <laughs> 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 you so fucking goofy. Oh, I don't believe it. He's only gonna run it down the run. That jingle, of course, signifies another reading from Carl Pilkington's diary. Oh my god. We went to the park and had a brew. Suzanne read the paper while I played with a ladybird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like a child, isn't it? It is like what a child would like. Suzanne read the paper while I played with a ladybird. <laughs> <laughs> His only friend is a beetle. <laughs> it climbed up my arm. It struggled on me hairs. This is in detail, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It kept stopping every now and then and was rubbing its head with its right arm. It did it about four times and always used its right arm. It rested for about five minutes, then flew off. Sunday. Had a bit of a to-do with Suzanne because she wanted a lion today. I ate this. Once you're awake, you should get up. I got up and put the radio on really loud. She eventually got up. I told her insects don't have lions, so we shouldn't. <laughs> Are you obsessed I with mean, insects? You must be fucking unbearable to live with. <laughs> You must be a nightmare. No, I've just started... Because I've watched insects a lot, I don't want to keep going on about them because we've, we're a bit insect-heavy. But at the end of the day, if we if we copied insects, we wouldn't go far wrong. I don't know what you mean, though. One minute you're saying they're great, then the next minute you'll slag them off. Yeah, I'll slag some of them off if I don't know what they're doing, but because I've studied them a bit longer, 
I just think they, they do. You haven't right. studied them. He, he thinks he's like Darwin. You, but you just slagged him off when again. No, you think people, that insects are doing stuff. They're not. It yeah, goes there, then it goes back again. The ant was. The ant was messing about. But only that one. The others were carrying stuff. That's what I'm saying. These snidey ones in everything, in every everything in the world, you get a hierarchy. <laughs> oh, long words. Ooh. Some new sea thing has been found. <laughs> There's the headlines on the news. <laughs> it wasn't found by sea experts. It was found on eBay. Someone was selling it for a fiver. I don't see the point in buying something that you don't know what it is. What do you I... mean? What do you mean? It was... It was. Someone's found some sort of <laughs> shell with a thing living in it. Right. Um, they thought, oh, I've never seen one of these before. I can flog it on eBay. Someone bought it and then wanted to look after it, went to some sea expert, and they said, oh, I don't know what that is. That's 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 the story. It's just weird how stuff's being found on eBay. No, it wasn't found on eBay, though, was it? Yeah, but that's where the specialist people sort of picked up on it. It's just weird that. I mean, all, all I was saying is I wouldn't want one. If you don't know how to, if it's a new creature, you don't know what what makes it happy. When you get a kitten, you go stroke its head, loves it, right? And you can do that knowing that it's liking it. If I had a little seashell, and you go, does it sit in water? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? You could end up doing more damage. So that's why I wouldn't want it. It's nice to have rules, and it? It's nice to know what you're doing with something. Well, as you write in the diary, it's like if an alien landed and wanted to live oh. with you. Oh, as much fun as it might sound, it wouldn't be long before you got annoyed with it because it wouldn't eat the food you gave it. That's what I'm saying, but I couldn't <laughs> have a go at it because it might not like pasta. <laughs> it might not. <laughs> Everyone likes pasta. Wow. Woke up to some interesting news. It's good when this happens, because it sets me up for the day ahead. If it's miserable news, it affects my day. It said on the news that they have found two new flies. <laughs> Fucking hell, more insects! <laughs> what have you done? Is that all you've done this summer? Bong. Just... <laughs> Somewhere in the Middle East. Bong. Two new flies found. Ladybird climbs up arm. <laughs> they were found in the UK, and they were found close to each other. Maybe this happened because they were different than the other flies and weren't expected to hang about together, so that's why they knocked about with each other. That would happen, wouldn't it? What do you mean? There's two new flies. <laughs> what do you mean? Does it mean there are two new flies that are a different species? species? Yeah, two new species, and they found them close to each other, right? Yeah, but they, they didn't mean there was one of each. No. Yeah, yeah, they did. They found two different ones. No. No, they have. Seriously, I know that. That's right. That's a fact. So you've got, like, I don't know the names of them. They give them odd names, don't they? <laughs> well, say yeah. you call it A and Fly B, right? Yeah. Fly A, I don't know. Uh, was Say that's yeah. orange. <laughs> this is just... B. Fly B, yeah. No, this is but, painful. No, but this I'm just painful. making it easy but for Fly B wears okay. a little hat. He's got yeah, a little hat. Right. Yeah, fine. Now, they found the orange one. I went, look at this over there. This is a bit weird. And they've gone, oh, that's a new species. Log it, whatever. And then the other one went, oh, 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 keep your pen handy. Look at this one, it's got hat on. So then they, they found them both within the same distance. I don't know what that sentence keep means. Going, keep going, keep going, keep going. They, no, found, them both, finish. they I... found them both within the same <laughs> distance. <laughs> but without <laughs> interrupting him, let him finish this, no. this point. Let me just make one thing clear. Carl Pilkin just said, they found them both within the same distance. <laughs> Think of that! Don't know what it means, but go on, let him finish this, this point. So... So what I mean is, they weren't knocking about with other normal houseflies because they were probably sort of going, oh, he's a bit weird. Leave it. <laughs> Yet because the other one was also odd, they're, not, they're hanging about with each other. Don't you understand that? Why is that such an odd concept? Because <laughs> you, think, you think of it as, like, two little... Um, uh, New kids in school. Yeah. They, they find out they're both new and they, they've got so many. Yeah, they're, both, they're both goths, so yeah. they start hanging out together. Yeah. <laughs> and this was on the news, was it? Yeah, just on the radio, yeah. I know if I looked into that story, it would be 90% wrong. <laughs> Bit tired today because didn't get to sleep as early as I wanted due to a moth getting in the bedroom. <laughs> I got it in a glass and looked at it for a bit and then let it go because Suzanne wanted to go to sleep. Looked up some interesting news. Some people dug up an old body in Ireland. Turns out it's well old and was here when dinosaurs were here. The really weird bit is it had hair gel in its hair. Right, what is it? A fella. Well, no, it wasn't around when dinosaurs were here then. Just a bit after. Right, fine. A lot after, yeah, go on. 
it's not the age bit that's amazing. It's the fact of there's a fella, won't have even had shoes on his feet. Right. And yet he was worried about his hairstyle. Right, but well, that's definitely not true either. <laughs> there was a man on the radio doing poetry, says Carl in his diary. I thought I'd have a go at doing a poem about today. <clears throat> not really. Yeah, Steve, I'm, I'm a little bit queasy. He hasn't really written a poem. He's written a, a small poem. No, he hasn't really. Yes. If moths had eyes... <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> let me read the poem, OK? <laughs> oh, you wouldn't interrupt T.S. Eliot. OK, 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 OK. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> if moths had eyes, would they be happier? How do they know they're not dead? <laughs> Cavemen hunting for food, but not before they style the hair on their head. What would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. Right. <laughs> it may be the greatest poem ever written. Is there a creative decision can we have, for that? Can we have Carl read that? By Sorry, means, yes. just, uh, no, just, just you read it as you would like to... So this is... Uh, imagine this, right? OK. This is going out all over the world. And now, um... Carl Pilgrim, a new poet from Manchester now living in uh, London, England, would like to read a, a poem. If moths had eyes, would they be happier? <laughs> How do they know they're not dead? Cavemen hunting for food, but not before they style the air on their head. What would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. I think he feels as though the final line, I'd rather be a blind moth, is going to be one of those great, you know, those, it, a summation that the, somehow the moth is a metaphor, I'd the caveman. Be a blind moth. No, but he's no <laughs> metaphor in that. He really does mean he'd, he'd rather, rather be, be a, a blind, blind moth. moth. Yeah, well, I'm just because I've looked at the day's news. Are you getting into poetry now, properly? I really like it, yeah. Right, I did two about jellyfish. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> I don't like jellyfish. They're not a fish, they're just a blob. They don't have eyes, fins or scales like a cod. They float about blind, stinging people in the seas. And no one eats jellyfish with chips and mushy peas. <laughs> Get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's just a short one about that jellyfish. Um, it would be spiteful to put jellyfish in a trifle. <laughs> Can we always do that, Carl? Can we always find a day, right, and always sum it up in, in your in thoughts, a poem. a poem, just like that? It would be spiteful to put jellyfish in a trifle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was super good. I was, that was funny. <laughs> I was saying, like, the last two videos, they said they kind of, they've been letting Carl talk a lot more. Mm. Like, they still make fun of him and pick on him a little bit, but he, like, he talks a lot more and actually finishes, like, all his thoughts yeah. before they kind of move on to the next subject. And I guess they really kind of... It could be just the way they're animating it, because I know a lot of people were telling me if you listen to the entire podcast much longer than this, and oh. they clip out a lot of the conversation with Carl said more stuff, and I think just edited it and made it more Carl heavy in this new season. Um, I could be wrong, but he mm -hmm. just... I don't know if you noticed, like, from... Because you haven't watched in a while, yeah. that how much he talked. Yeah. It like, it's like, seem like more. Yeah, it's like they just he pepper in. just say, like, one thing, and then they make fun of him yeah. for, like, five minutes. But. So, yeah, that was that was good. I mean, like, some of his thoughts, I kind of get it, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're very, like, like he's just a simple guy. Yeah, you know, he really just sums fine, it up, yeah. But it's like, um, it's like I get what he's saying. Yeah. Like, I don't trust jellyfish either, because they're kind of <laughs> creepy. Like, have you ever seen them at the aquarium? And they're immortal. Yeah, you know, they, said, they said they said like they like they don't they don't die unless like they get killed. Yeah, they have to like, be killed, but yeah, yeah, they just keep on. Yeah, yeah. some about how their cells do something or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's like that's crazy, and um, I think he just kind of like they said like he, he talks about these cases, and a lot of people have been put in the comments like Carl will talk about something, and they're like, oh, dude, you're just talking shit. But if you look up some of the stuff is real, it was actually yeah. like, published or whatever. But Carl just um, 
really sums it up. You know what I mean? Like, real yeah, quick. Yeah, he doesn't, like, like, give all the backstory and all that. All the stuff. details that led up to all that kind of jazz is just real, like, summed up. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, they found an old bloke with gel in his hair in the ground. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. This is good, man. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, in between us laughing, I hear Pugsley yeah, so outside the door sorry. acting like it's the end of the world. She's upset because I just got home and I immediately came down here. Yeah, to like do a She's video. Like, what the heck, mom? Because I wanted to, <laughs> to do a video with before she um, before you know she started working on her stuff and got too tired or what have you. Because you know how to, you know how it is. Like I said, I love doing this when I get off work, but I'm not gonna force her to like give up all her loves to come and do a video. You know what I mean? Tay likes to get drunk. She used to do heroin first. Um, the, the heroin usually knocks her out. So after that, you know, I got to stand Don't on say hand. say stuff like that. <laughs> Some people think I'm a, a crackhead. <laughs> I don't do that stuff. I had to kick the meth pipe. Uh, all right, I'll stop. I'm not going to joke about that because this might be in the comments. Like, man, you know I got a heroin problem. Like, oh, man, now I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about heroin, Josh. Like, man, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, this is good. I enjoyed this. Mm. I got to hang out with Tay. Tay got to hang out with, um, well, you got to hang out with me because I go first, okay? Oh, okay. Right. This is enjoyable. I love how as soon as the video's over, Pug's just like quiet. <laughs> She's like, okay, they're coming out. They're coming out now. So it's <laughs> over. I'm, I'm going to get to hang out with them. <laughs> then it's going to be like six pats. Like, pat, pat, pat. Get off of me! I got things to do. Why are you guys all over me? Give me some space. Right. <laughs> Freaking cats, man. Uh, all right, guys. This was good. <laughs> Um, I really um, want to appreciate you guys once you've already donated to the Patreon. We're definitely working mm-hmm. on getting a lot more content up there. Um, put up the first episode of IT Crowd on there. So YouTube did block when I tried to use that as a unless to do that. So I might have to use like Daily Motion and stuff for it. And Daily Motion makes you like upload stuff as a smaller file format. So the resolution is going to be a little lower. But I'm definitely working. We're finding ways around it. So mm-hmm. the first episode of IT Crowd is on now. I'm working on getting a lot more content. I started with IT Crowd because that's what was voted. It, it received three votes. Um, hopefully a lot more people take, um, actually get into the polls on the, what do you call it, the Patreon. That way we can get an idea of the other shows you got us, you want us to um, start checking out. Mm-hmm. Other than that, the format is not going to change. I'm going to continue to try to upload at least five videos a day. Um, four to five videos a day. And I'm continuing looking at you guys' suggestions in the comments. That always is awesome. Got a huge list here to go through, and I continue to look through the rest of you guys' comments the rest of the time. You have anything else, sweets? Nope. All right. Guys, that is all for this one. The room is warming up, especially because there's two bodies in here now, mm-hmm. and the AC is off. So we're going to um, head out. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.